Thanks for tuning in to AI Mutual. We have breaking news and information on Hurricane N as it has made landfall. According to West Channel 2, Hurricane N has made landfall in Florida as a dangerous Category 4 hurricane Wednesday afternoon ashore near Cayo Costa, Florida, with winds of 150 miles per hour. And again, that would be considered a Category 4, which is a very dangerous and catastrophic hurricane. As of the 8 p.m. advisory, Hurricane N was moving north-northeast at 8 miles per hour, and winds had slowed to 115 miles per hour. It was located 30 miles northeast of Punta Gorda, Florida, and 95 miles southwest of Orlando. The storm is expected to cause life-threatening storm surge, catastrophic winds, and flooding in the Florida Peninsula. The National Weather Service warned conditions will deteriorate tonight. The threat of significant to catastrophic flooding is expected to develop tonight and into Thursday for areas from North Osceola and North Brevard, including Metro Orlando. Flooding can be extremely dangerous at night, so everyone needs to be careful. But please know there are shelters available. FEMA is doing a really great job. Just to kind of let you know what's going on, volunteer agencies are in the area. Uh, for example, American Red Cross, Florida Baptist, Salvation Army, Feeding Florida, Farm Share, and more. Okay, so FEMA has partnered with them and others to make sure that they can deliver tens of thousands of meals per day. The USDA and Nutrition Service has approved Florida's request to issue October SNAP benefits on September 28th. So that ha it happens uh, this week. So everybody check online when you're able to, to make sure that those funds were uploaded to your SNAP benefit card. More than 90 shelters are open, so that's really great. The American Red Cross is prepared to open 60 post-disaster, which can accommodate 30,000 individuals. So in case you were unable to evacuate prior to the storm, please know that 90 shelters are available and others will be opening up. For a list of uh, open general and special needs shelters in the state of Florida, visit shelter information posted on AIMUG 1-800-342-3557. Again, 1-800-342-3557. The state of Florida is deploying several hundred shelter support staff to address staffing needs. So uh, just know that uh, the state of Florida is doing everything that they can to make sure that residents have the adequate shelter that they need, that they have the food that they need, and also just to stay up to date with information as long as you have energy uh, to supply to your cell phone. Uh, and, and I hope everybody does, and hopefully everybody was able to download this app prior to the storm, but if not, definitely download the FEMA app for real-time weather alerts from the National Weather Service, and it will provide you with directions to open shelters. So that's really great. You can see what's in your area. This app also includes a customizable checklist of emergency supplies and disaster survival tips. Please also go to AI Mutual's uh, Facebook page because there will be information on how to file claims, uh, giving you tips and things of that nature because you're definitely going to need it once all the flooding subsides, once all the water subsides, and then you're able to capture the actual damage to your property. You want to be able to make sure that you're able to uh, take those photos and, and know the questions to ask your field adjuster. So definitely um, look on our page for, the, for that information. But in the meantime, we do pray that everybody is staying safe, that everybody is healthy, that everybody's alive, that everybody is fed. Um, you guys, this is a great time to just get together with your family uh, and then just pray and then just know that we're here. We're waiting for, uh, for everything to clear out so that way we can get those uh, field adjusters out there to help you uh, to get restored back to normal. Thanks so much. Have a good one.